Hey, welcome back. Many thanks for staying with us. The Asante Hini Otun Force 82 is expected to join Ochehini Osajifu Amwiti Ferry Penyin tomorrow at Chebi in the Eastern Region as part of the Grand Deba to mark the 75th anniversary of the demise of Nana Se Uforiata, the 31st Ochehini. The two traditional rulers are expected to deliberate on how to foster peaceful coexistence and developmental agenda of their traditional areas. We will get an update of preparations towards the visit shortly. But here is a historical background of what some have called the deep-seated rivalry between the Ashantis and the Achims. The rivalry between Asantiman and Achim is rooted in the history of wars and conquest. After King Osaitutu I, the founder of the Asante nation, defeated Denchira, he annexed surrounding Akan states into his new kingdom. They included Wasa, Sehi, and Chifu, but not Achim. In 1717, Opim Osaitutu led an Asante regiment into Achim. Initially, he underestimated the Achims, and upon realizing the contingent of the Achim army, the Asante rear army decided to withdraw Osetutu back to Kumase. Unfortunately, while he was crossing the Pra River with the Asante rear army, he was shot and killed by the Achims. The Mamponghene Ekuyamwapenying thereupon took over the command of the army until Upukuwari Ketechie was enthroned on the golden stool. In 1742, Upukuwari Ketechie invaded Achim Ibuakwa and Kotoku. Their kings, Bakwante and Apau, together with Otublo Manche, were all slain, including the heir apparent to the Ibuakwa stool, Achim Owusu and Dako. A gold death mask of Bakwante was made and then added to the insignias on the golden stool of Asante. That report just read to you by Kojo Yangsin. Well, ahead of the historic visit, correspondent Kofi Sian has been reporting that the palace of the Ochehine has been given a facelift in anticipation of the arrival of the Asante monarch. We'll be getting more of uh, that story in a subsequent bulletin. But right now.